good and gone. So I'm going to be showing you how to install a, a script called AI to pen. To install this script, go to your Google Chrome, open a new tab. Uh, oh, no. Let's type code list. Code list dot cc. Code list dot cc. Okay, please do the site. Let's wait until it works. Okay, so let's search for that script called AI to pay. AI to pay. Click on enter. Script. Scroll down. Click on the script AI to pay. Click on it. So in order to download this script, you need to copy this link. Open a new tab. Paste the script. Click on it and uh, okay. Paste the script. Click on download to download the script. So I'm going to click on download. Oh. Okay, the script is already downloaded at the bottom. Okay, I've downloaded this script before, so I'm going to cancel the download. So after the completion of the download, just click on the script, click on it, click on this icon, click on show in folder, so this is it, extract the what, the script, so because the script is raw now, let's extract it, let's click on it and click on extract to AI script. So the script is already extracted. So let's wait for some minutes for it to extract. Okay, the extraction is complete. Let's search for the script E I C N. I did it. E I to pen. So that like, this is the extracted file. So let's click on the extracted file. And click on it. So this is the extracted file. This is the main file. So let's zip. Once to upload a file into um cPanel, it must be in a zipped form. So let's zip this file. Make on the uh, add to achieve. Click on zip. Click OK. So the file is already zipped. Let's wait until it completes. I'm going to take a moment, I'm going to take some seconds. 
the file is already zipped so this is the file so first upload it on our cpanel let's go and log in into our cpanel so go to your google chrome open a new tab Google, so this is my own hosting. This is where I'm hosting my website. So let me click on it. Want to log in to the the site is loading. Okay, I'm going to log into my hosting website. This is where I'm hosting my website. So, logged in. So, I'm going to click on manage. So I'm going to click on C panel. So I'm going to click on it. Click open. Already inside the C panel, so to upload any file into C panel, click on File Manager. That is where you can upload your your files. So to upload files into the File Manager, in order for your website to show, go to Public HTML. This is it. I'm already inside it, but just click on it. So we're going to bring you inside the public HTML. So for you to now upload the file into the public HTML, click on upload. Then click on select file. So this is this is the script I want to watch. This is the script we are uploading. But before we are, before we upload the scripts, note that the website brought me to this folder directly because I have opened this folder from the website before. So for you, it may not bring it to the folder directly or the script directly. So in order for you to get the script easily, just search for the for the um, script from the search bar and then you click on the on the script so let's upload it click on open so the script is already uploaded so let's wait until complete upload Okay, the script has been uploaded 
completely so the next thing we do now is click on go back to home no sir okay this is the script so let's extract the what the script guys click on it go to extract click on extract files that's extracted everything so what you need to do now is just to click on close yeah, so this is the extracted. Um, this is the extracted file. So just click on the double click on the folder. So now select all files and folder on the So now, you know what to do now? Right click. Oh, yeah. Click on move. Mm. Oh, yeah. Where are we moving the folder to? We are moving the folder to what? To public HTML. So, move files. So the folder is already um, empty. Let's go back. Let's delete the folder. Mm -hmm. Right click on the folder. Click delete. Delete mm -hmm. completely. It has been deleted completely. So the other folders inside inside that folder, we move it to the public HTML. So. What next? And open another tab. After opening a new tab, now you type your your website you are at Adilox. That's my own URL. Not dot online. Adelot dot online. Then click enter. now the website is ready it has been installed but for complete installation we need to create a database where our what our database is. let's go back to our cpanel this is my cpanel okay So we are going to click on my SQL database. That is where we are going to create our database. Click on it. Okay. Now let's create our database first. What do I want to name my database name? So, a database. AI 
from this bend. Okay, my cubbies. Yo, I don't know what they do. So let's go back. So let's go back. Okay. Oh, the next thing we do now is what do we do? Oh, scroll down. So my as my SQL user now we want to add user to the database. So what do we name our database username? So let's name it let's name it EI user. You can name it editing. Let's create a password for it. I'll create my own password. the password again to confirm now click on create user now user has been created now let's go down again the last thing I'm doing now is to what? I'm going to add user to the database. We've, create, we've created user. Now I want to add user to that database. So, the user I want is what? Let's choose the user I want. The user I just created is Adilux. So AU AI user. So I'll click on it. That's the user I want. Which database do I want to add that user to? So this is the name of the database. Adilux AI to pen. So I click on it also. Then I will what? Click on add. So now click on all privileges. Then I click make changes. You save you saved Adilux so AI user privilege on the database. So we've completed this part also. So let's click on go back. Now let's go back to our website. So I'm installing. This is the tab where it is. Now let's let's input let's input the necessary things. So for the host name, it is usually local host. Local host. Database name. What's our database name? Our database name is the one we created a i to to pen what's our database username our database username is what ai no 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 mistake i've done mistake here it is adilux adilux so ai to pen this is also adilux box so the AI user
our password. I will put my password. Admin login email, admin login password. Let me put it. password click on install And now let's sign in to continue. So the admin password you wrote that time. The admin email you wrote that time out you are going to enter the admin password we created then. So I I created admin the email I created then admin at admin.com. That's what I wrote there. So the password and if password you created then so and I'll allow it to load invalid credential it means seems there's a mistake there since there's a mistake in this Gmail I entered. See I did not put dot com. So let me write the password. Okay now let's click on sign in. I'm not now to go stop this morning. Let's say I really don't give up. okay we are completed our script installation now the website is live so let's just let's just navigate through this website and but for now let's integrate the AI because for this website to work we need to integrate the AI the API for the AI so click on settings so this is where we're going to put the a api secret key so for now let's just click on new once you click on new so profile name api key and other stuff this way you're going to put everything for us to create the api key so let's go and create the api key Let's navigate through this website. Let's do some settings now. I'm going to go and integrate the API for the AI I don't know because that. for this website, okay, you, know, work, you must you know, you have an AI open source secret key, I mean API key. For that, we're going to integrate this. Yeah. 
I want to integrate it. I'm going to go to the settings. Click on settings. Okay. Then we are already there. So for us to integrate, integrate the settings, click on new. So here we are now going to input all the necessary stuffs. So for that to happen, let's open a new tab. Type open 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 AI. Open the eye. 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 Open the Log out. So you don't have an account to sign up. From signing up, you write your your email address. And then I come. So now I'm logging. In. Click on continue. That's what. Open, 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 from dot open AI dot com. That's the URL. So click enter. Now I'm to log in. If you don't have an account, you click on sign up in order to what to be able to get into the website. So I have an account here. I'm going to log in. Let me input my email address. How many cops you want to say here? I need. I'm not doing now. How many? How many cops? Now I'm going to um input my password also. Click on continue. Open AI, the platform dot open AI. Platform, so this is the website platform dot open AI dot com. So let's enter the website. Now we are asked to log in for those who have account. If you don't have an account, you want to click on sign up and sign up. So I'm going to input my email address. Click on continue. So I'm going to open and um, input my password also now. Continue. So I'm, I'm logging. I'm logging. So for us to get the API, let's go to this place. Then click on View API Keys. Ah. Click on create secret key. Give it a name. The name is. Let me just name it Adelux. Adelux. Create secret key. So this is the secret key. Just click on done. Fire. So these are secret key that's been created. You can also specify which organization to use for each API request. So this is the can see. So this is our key. Create new secret key. Let's create a name. Write any name. We do have Adilax. Click on create secret key. 
Click on this icon to copy the secret key because once you left this page, you won't be able to see the secret key. Secret key did. Click done. So you are a killer. So let's go to our website in order to introduce stuff. So click on new. Let's eliminate this idea. Secret key, paste the secret key. And AI Select chart model. So let us keep. Okay. Let's click on save. Find internet connection. happening okay click on create new secret key give it a name you know my own, my own adilux click on create secret key copy the secret key because once you click on done you can't copy it again and the website is not going to show you the secret key again click on the icon to copy api I copy it now click on done now let's go back to our website to input those to input the secret key so first of all profile name i'll give i'll name it adelux my api key let me paste my api key yeah let me just type anything on it you know right adelux ai assistant ai this is as Select chat mode and let's do GBT 3.5 turbo. Now,
GPT 3.5 दबो क्लिक ऑन सेव डाटा हैज बीन सेव्ड सक्सेसफुली क्लिक ओके सो एज वेट रेडी डियर एडिलक्स प्रोफाइल नेम एडिलक्स एपीआई नेम ओपन एआई the api you are using is open ai so before you leave the page the settings make sure you click on save changes setting as have been so saved setting have been saved successfully yeah we've completed this part let's go back to the dashboard Let's check if the AI is already working. Let's click on the AI chart. Start tapping your mind. Okay. Hello. I'm just type hello. Same. Type on hello. Hello, how may I assist you today? You see, our AI is already working. <laughs> so, this is where I'm going to stop my tutorial. Let's try and type another thing again. Let me ask best business. I can do okay, the, the AI is trying to what to load our, our question our answer. So you can see the best business for your depend the best business for you depends on your interests, skills, and market opportunities. However, here I feel ideas for your lucrative business. E-commerce, start online stores, selling products in the chain market. These are other these are kind of best business you can do. So our our website is now